All right, let's talk some Astros baseball. We are with not only the manager of the Houston Astros, the World Series champion manager of the Astros, A.J. Hinch. Good to see you, man. Thank you. No, I and, like the sound of that. I was going to say, that, that doesn't get old, does it? <laughs> no, it's not going to get old for forever. That flag will hang forever. What has this experience been like, not only getting there and winning it all, A.J., but since then, the city has gone absolutely crazy since you guys have won this title, and it's going to continue for a while. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's gotten a little bit more real as, as we've gotten – actually away from it. The parade was kind of the first sign of, uh, of how amazing it was. Now, in the everyday occurrence, we've got players all over the place, fans coming out to see them, um, restaurants, coffee shops, gas stations, yeah. like everything that, 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 uh, that, that we do on a daily basis somehow will find its way back to Astros baseball. So we're going to enjoy the celebration. At some point, we'll turn the page and get to next year. But uh, we're going to relish in this in the first championship. Yeah, you're allowed to, to celebrate a little <laughs> bit longer. Hey, what was it like? I know a lot of fans that weren't able to make it out to that parade. Mm -hmm. Walk us through that reaction when you're on on the uh, trucks coming down the, 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 the main street there and you saw these fans, close to mm -hmm. a million people. Is that when it sunk in, what it meant? Yeah, I think sure. for me it was the, the number of fans. It was also just the pure joy on their faces. Mm -hmm. You know, the signs were great. They're taking pictures of, of us. We're taking pictures of them. Yeah. You know, we had a great seat, obviously raised above, uh, riding through the, the streets, the confetti, the fans up in the, in the parking garages, the, um, the kids running along the, the parade route, uh, just trying to be a part of it. I think everyone will remember something from that parade, whether it's the mass number of people, whether it's the perfect sign for the player or coaches, or, um, and ultimately just the volume, the, 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 how loud it was. Mm -hmm. uh, for a good hour or two straight. You know, I happened to be on the same bus uh, with the families. And so I had my family, I had Altuve and his family, Marwin Gonzalez and his family, uh, Luke Gregerson, and Ken Giles, like whoever had young kids. And mm -hmm. um, when we turned the corner, there was like more amazement and more, more chance of, uh, of us being world champions. Yeah, that was awesome to see. I wanted to follow up, you mentioned being with the families there. Uh, of course, for baseball season, families are important because mm -hmm. you got it's a long season. The peaks and valleys you go through, you got to have that support. You do, and, and you know they're there to endure, <laughs> enjoy and, this with you. I think the playoffs is when it really hits home because we take our families with us, mm -hmm. and nobody misses the playoffs. You know, if you can if you can get on the plane, you're going to be on the plane, and yeah. and to go through Boston, to go through New York, to go through L.A., those are some major cities and Absolutely. major teams to beat. Yeah. To do it alongside your family is very important. Um, we're away so much that the, the grind of the season is real, um, but they're right there with us, and, and we welcome them to be a part of everything we do. All right, third season uh, as skipper of the Astros, you, you ended with a World Series title. What during this process, I guess specifically maybe the postseason run, what did you learn about yourself as a manager? Well, I, I, I could enjoy it. You know, I think in in some ways. Um, I was proud of myself that I could just let go and smile and laugh and, and, and stay in the moment and enjoy every second of it. Um, and that's because of my belief in the players. You know, I, we had such a close knit group and we're going to continue to as we bring back most players. Um, for me as the manager to be able to stay calm, to be able to uh, stay focused, to be on that national stage and really have it not uh, impact me, I think was something that I was proud of. Uh, I'm always going to be the calmest heartbeat. It's part of my, my personality. Yeah. Uh, but I'm always going to try to push a few buttons here and there with the players right. to make sure that, they, that they're their best. Describe in a couple of sentences what Game 5 was like at Minute Maid, yeah. the, how the back and forth, the, the late night finish, I mean, everything that was It was the that. most incredible game I think I'll ever be a part of because yeah. it's going to go down as one of the most epic games in World Series history. Mm -hmm. uh, to do it on that stage, the big moments, the big swings, not necessarily how we drew up the Keiko versus Kershaw type game, yeah. um, but but the, the back and forth, the haymakers from two teams that were just trying to win a World Series game to get the momentum of the series mm -hmm. uh, will go down in history as one of the best. And you went to L.A. Yeah. I mean, that's what World Series are mm -hmm. supposed to be like. I mean, obviously, you probably like a sweep. <laughs> I would have been with. fine with it ending early. But, but as far all, <laughs> with all the drama involved and just the, the, the great moments of this series, I mean, that's classic postseason baseball. It is, and, and it lived up to the billing. You know, I, I know some people have asked me, like, oh, Game 7 was so easy. I'm like, not for my chair. It didn't feel like <laughs> Did it Did it age easy. you a little bit? It didn't feel... <laughs> <laughs> like it was in our in our control until Altuve fields that ground ball and throws it to Yuli, yeah. and then we're celebrating on the field. But um, you know, again, I think always the, the World Series you're in is always going to feel like the one that's the best of all time. 
Yeah. I think we have some backing that this might rank up there pretty high. I mean, you had to make a lot of decisions during the course of this uh, postseason, especially in the uh, in the bullpen area. You brought in some guys that had started. I mean, you, you had some moving parts there, and a yeah. lot of it a lot of it worked for you. Well, you know, it, it, just when you map it out one way, you better you better be able to audible and go the other way because right. it's it changes with the with the momentum and and how players respond. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm so proud of our players. They bought in from the very beginning. Uh, of the season and we stay focused through the season and when, when the postseason gets here you ask a lot out of your guys and it's on a national stage and the attention mm -hmm. that comes with it you know it's George Springer to go 0 for 4 and then come back and win the World Series MVP Amazing. Altuve Amazing. hits the three homers just kick off the the uh, the the, uh, the the postseason uh, ends up coming up with some really big plays Alex Bregman uh, and Dallas Keuchel Verlander these guys they, they, to a man, they did a good job of staying in the moment, enjoying their, enjoying the run. And they had that's the. I think they, you, you, even in the pressure of the World Series, you'd look around from at least from our vantage point. It's like these guys are loose. Yeah. They're having fun. You know, they're a bunch of young guys. Some of them, they didn't, they didn't appear to be dealing with they, 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 they believe from the beginning. Yeah. They were convicted. We were the best team in baseball. They went yeah. out and did it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Want to ask you about Jose Altuve winning MVP? Yeah. Uh, not a not a surprise. You get to coach this guy every day. What does he mean to you? Yeah. You know, he, he's. I've said this before. He's everything right. That's about the Astros. And and if you talk about the Astros, you're going to talk about Altuve. He was the original core member of this team. Mm -hmm. You saw Springer come up. You saw Correa come up. Keiko. Uh, burst out and won the Cy Young. It was still about Jose Altuve. And no matter how good this team got, he seemed to get better and better and better. I love his makeup. I love watching him grow as a person. He becomes a father for the first time. Yeah. He wins the MVPs as humble as can be. And if I talk to him today, he'll want to know, like, what do I need to do to get better? <laughs> and, and that type of example is a uh, is a gem to have. All right, as we wrap it up, uh, you, you're moving ahead. You're going to keep celebrating. I know that it's still early, only a couple weeks out of, of winning this thing. But uh, when do you guys start looking to next year and start laying the kind of well we so funny story is we were we we're working on it during the world series you have the front office is going to start talking about next year because moves happen pretty fast into the right. into the winter we've had a number of coaches that have now been promoted they come and come and poach your play your players they poach your your coaches as well so we've had to fill a coaching staff yeah. along the way um, it's turned into just about a 365 day job we'll we'll have a, a few vacations here and there and try to decompress and relax Usually when the calendar turns, it gets pretty serious and you start talking about fan fest, you start talking about coaches meetings, you get into spring training in early February. Uh, but November is still going to be about about this World Series. Yeah, so your offseason begins. So at, when, when does the honeydew list at home begin? Uh, it, started, it started out. <laughs> game seven ended and, and the honeydew list started. That's, uh, that's the way it works in my house. Awesome, man. Hey, listen, thanks for the time. Thank Congratulations Thank on a great year. I know all of Houston so proud of the Astros. And before we know it, we'll be talking about a yeah, new season. We're pretty proud of Houston, too. Astros World Series champion manager, A.J. Hinch. Good to see you, man. Thank you.